Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this new, I don't know how new, but it says new, uh, Banquet Mega Meats. This one is the sweet and spicy Asian style boneless strips. Um, it is breaded white meat chicken patty strips coated in sauce with a green chili macaroni and cheese. That sounds good. Um, 27 grams of protein, 13.3 ounces or 377 grams. Bought this at Kroger. It was only $3.49, which I don't think it's bad for a, for a Mega Meats meal. Uh, it's a pretty good size. Pretty good size in calories, too. 610 calories. There's your other info, whatever you want to take out of that. Um, you can take a conventional oven if you want to. You can cook it in a regular oven. Uh, of course, we don't do that, but you can if you'd like. Um, to be honest with you, they may or may not be better in the oven. We'll see. Um, or I'll give you my opinion of what I think. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the film from the meal. Remove the chicken strips. We're going to microwave and high for one meal. So we're going to completely remove the film. Okay. Microwave and high for one minute. Replace the chicken strips and microwave for two minutes. Stir the macaroni and cheese. Rearrange the chicken strips and, and microwave for an additional two and a half to three and a half. I'll probably just do three. Check that the food's fully cooked. Blah, blah, blah. There's a picture again if you want to. Let's see what it looks like. No pull tab, so we got to risk the paper cut. So there's what the meal looks like. Let me turn you down a little bit. And what I usually do, I'll take this out. Ooh, loud noise, sorry. Very, very loud. You gotta get all the little pieces of plastic, all these things, because they're annoying. And you don't want to eat any of it. Um, that chicken smells like all their other chicken strips. It has that very distinct um, smell. Uh, their chicken does. Okay, did I get all the plastic? That, that piece would be fine. So what I use it is, I just take a paper towel and um, take these chicken strips and just lay it on there. They're not wet or sticky, so that's good. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and do all the stuff and I'll be back. All right, so here it is, out of the microwave. I haven't done anything to it. Uh, I think a piece of chicken got in there when I was flipping the chicken around. Get out of there, chicken. Um, so I did flip all the, the after the first uh, th two minutes, three minutes, three minutes, um, where it said flip the chicken around, I did flip the chicken over and separate them all. And now they've gotten re-stuck together um, from the sauce. So yeah, get away, separate. Separate you, to separate you if you cause problems. Right, anyway, and there's the macaroni. Uh, looks pretty good, it got a little brown on top, which I like, I like the little, um, not crispy, but dried out spots. You're not gonna get crispy in the microwave, that's for sure. So um, so anyway, I'm going to let this cool off a little bit. I'll probably try these macaroni and cheese first anyway, and I'll be right back in a second. All right, so the macaroni and cheese actually said green chili macaroni and cheese, but I see some, I see the green chilies, but I also see some some red in there as well. So anyway, here's the mac and cheese. I really like the addition of the chilies. It adds a, um, that chili pepper kind of flavor. I'm not getting heat like um, like a heat, a peppery heat though. So that's good. It just adds the flavor with no actual burn. It's kind of like you made macaroni and cheese with um, almost like green pepper stone in there. That's kind of the flavor. Um, it's a slight different flavor than a green pepper, but it reminds you of that flavor. Those are good. I like this. Um, I like that macaroni and cheese. Let me try that chicken. I'm just gonna cut one in half. There's the how thick they are. Honestly, it tastes like your regular banquet chicken patty. Um, I really didn't get that. It was supposed to be, um, yeah, sweet and spicy. I might get a little spice, like a little tingle in the back of my throat. But as far as the sweet, like a sweet and sour kind of sauce flavor, that's what I was expecting. I'm not getting that. Banquet's chicken um, tenders have a very distinct flavor, and it's the it's the breading and whatever they flavor the chicken with, and um, the breading and the the spices, the seasonings they use in that. Um, it has a very distinctive flavor. This really just tastes like that. I mean, it really doesn't. Yeah, I'm not even getting the tingle. I'm wondering if the tingle wasn't just left over from the mac and cheese. Although I don't think so. No, I'm thinking it's coming from the chicken.
Mm. That piece had a little bit more of that um, sweet flavor to it. And you do get a little tingle in the back of your throat. The difference was that one had like a little bit more of a the brown crusty part on it. Whereas the other ones I was trying was just the, I think more of just her traditional um, chicken thing. It kind of looks like this, but just the breading. Um, so I think if you get a lot of the sauce on there, you can taste it. I don't think it's bad. I do like the little tingle it gives you in the back of your throat. It's not like, it's not like super hot. So if you don't like really hot, hot food, I think you'll be fine. Um, just know that it will give you just a little tingle in the back of your throat. Just a little tingle in the back of your throat. So if you actually hate any spicy food, you wouldn't want to eat this. But if you don't mind a little bit of a tingle, that's fine. You're, you're perfectly fine. It's not going to burn you up. It's no worse than some barbecue potato chips I've had, you know, literally. I do have to say, I really like the texture of them both. Um, the macaroni and cheese is cooked perfectly, by the way. The macaroni and cheese is, is really, really good. The chicken is cooked really well. It's not tough. It's not chewy. It's not dry. It's got a really good texture to it. The breading on there is not mushy and wet, which is good. And it's very thin. I mean, if it's a very, very thin layer of breading. So it, it's not like it's, it's going to be really thick anyway to get really wet and soggy. I think the, the chicken would have crisped up a little bit more if you had it in the oven. So if you're going to do this in the oven, the, the chicken tenders may get a little bit more flavor to them just because they're going to uh, be a little firmer on the outside. But flavor wise, I think for the most part, it's going to be the same microwave or oven. So uh, I like this meal. I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's not like over the top. You know what? I'll even give it a four and a half. I really, really do like it. And I do like that little bit of heat. I probably would have given it a five if it had a little bit more of the sweet flavor to go with the spicy on the chicken. But, uh, but overall, it's, it's a pretty good meal. So I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.